State Television Campaign of Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. The 9th Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Law No. 1. Memorial Ceremony of the Victims of the Genocide Against Armenia. Chronology of the Genocide Against Armenians. Peter Stanon expressed his opinion. Baku is planning to set up the occupied Shushi. The opening of the exhibition conversation with Reed at the Comitas Museum Institute. On April 8, the 9th Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia was held on. The meeting was chaired by the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosian. During the session, the general condition of the government of Western Armenia was discussed. In his speech, the first president of Western Armenia, Armenia Gabrihamian, spoke about the order and chronology of the organizations of the commemoration ceremonies in memory of the victims of genocide against the Armenians. During the session, the members of the government proposed projects which will be covered by the state television of Western Armenia in the near future. Taking into account the fact that the Yerevan government is ready to hand over several territories of Armenia to the Baku authorities, this draft law is proposed by the government of Western Armenia as well as the following provisions. First, Article 1 and 55 of the United Nations Charter. The second, Declaration of the Right of Indigenous People. The third, Rights of Armenians of Western Armenia. The fourth, Constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia. Preface Clause 15, Relations with the Republic of Armenia, Eastern Armenia. Article 1. All territories ceded to Baku since November 9, 2020 or to be ceded in the future shall be constituent part of the territories of Western Armenia. In accordance with the actual recognized state of Armenia of 1920 on January 19, the actual recognized state of Armenia and in 1920, the legally recognized state of Armenia on May 11. In addition to various bilateral recognitions with countless nations throughout this year. Article 2. The Armenians living in these territories are an inseparable part of the indigenous Armenian people of Western Armenia and therefore have the right to apply to the government of Western Armenia to obtain their Western Armenian citizenship. Article 3. The Republic of Western Armenia actually recognizes the right to reintegration of the Armenian population as a manifestation of the right to self-determination. Article 4. After ratification, this law will be included in the Constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia. Article 5. After ratification, this law will be published in the official magazine of the Republic of Western Armenia. The President, members of the government and deputies of the National Assembly of Western Armenia consider the adoption of this law as a historical fact for Armenia. In 2024, on April 21st, Lydia Markosian, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenia Gabrahamian, President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Vartan Simonian, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Western Armenia, kindly invite you to attend at the commemoration ceremony of the victims of the genocide against the Armenians, which is organized by the National Council of Western Armenia in 2024, on Sunday, April 21st at 12 o'clock, after the requiem mass offered by priest Gusan Aljanian near the Khachkar Monument of Geneva Apostolic Church. Address Armenia Square, 1256 Swiss through Annex. In 1908, July 10, the revolution of the young Turks in the Ottoman Empire, the idea of getting rid of cruel Sultan was growing. Groups were forming to destroy the Sultanate system. Gradually uniting these groups turned into a movement that received the name Young Turks. Soon the Young Turks formed their own party. In 1908, as a result of the Young Turk reform in July, Sultan Abdul Hamid II was deprived of power and in 1909 he was overdrawn. The Young Turks entered the arena in the 18th century with the slogan Liberty, Equality, Fraternity, which was established by the French Revolution. People thought that a new era had begun in the history of the Ottoman Empire. As Musa Prince tells Armenians, Turks, Greeks were hanging in the streets with joy. But as it soon became clear, the young Turks were a masked nationalist who continued the policies of persecution and massacres of their previous sultans. In response to the question of freedom in Brussels, AU foreign relations spokesman Peter Stano said, when asked if the question of Eastern Armenia leaving the Russian-led alliances is in order to strengthen relations with AU, Stano said that the AU is not the type of actor to say, if you want to work with us, you have to give up all other partners. The homework set for Armenia was more in the sense of continuing the reforms. We are talking about bringing Armenia closer to the AU 
politically and economically. And that includes, of course, work on reforms, strengthening and reforming democratic institutions, of course, necessary economic reforms, ensuring the rule of law struggle against cor corruption. And in this matter, Armenia has done a great job. This was evaluated to date and continues to be evaluated. But of course, there are issues that still need to be improved. When it comes to your relationship with Russia, the EU is not the type of actor to say, if you want to work with us, you must abandon all other partners. We are in favor of inclusive cooperation. If you think it is important or good or beneficial for your interest to have some kind of cooperation with Russia, you can have it as long as it doesn't conflict with EU policy, for example, our sanctions policy. So if you are developing closer relation with EU, doesn't mean you have to cut relation with any other partner. Whether you want to have a Russian soldiers, Russian F F FSB, or any other Russian law enforcement agency on your land is your sovereign decision. We are not saying that if you want to get more from us, you should get rid of the Russians. The EU does not work that way, he said. Baku is preparing to settle the occupied Shushi in the near future. In, as reported by the Azerbaijan media, Aydin Karimov, the special representative appointed by Aliyev in the occupied Shushi region, announced this. It is noted that in one, two months, the residents will start returning to occupied Shushi, that the construction of the first residential complex consisting of 23 houses is nearing completion. Most likely, that settlement will be aligned with May 9, because in 1992, May saw the liberation of Shushi and the formation of the Defense Army of Artsakh Republic. This is a very likely option, because Azerbaijanis are very fond of symbolism. Armenian Shushi has been and continues to be one of the important pillars of Armenian identity for years. And even today, despite the fact that Shushi is under Azerbaijan control, it should be one of the most important symbols of the Armenian revival. The opening of the Conversations with the Red exhibition took place at the Komitas Museum Institute. The exhibition is about the use of reed in Armenian and French music, particularly the making of wind instruments. Historical facts about the use of uh, reeds were presented in the exhibition, raising a number of issues relating to the craft of instrument makers and the activities of musicians, performers, both in Eastern Armenia and in France. The event was attended by French ambassador to Eastern Armenia, French ambassador to Eastern Armenia, Olivier de Coutinho and others. According to Nikolai Kostandian, director of Komitas Museum Institute, this exhibition is another opportunity to reflect on the centuries-old Armenian-French friendship. Cultural dialogue, music masters, the role of France in the life of Komitas, as well as the continuation of that tradition. Yes, we have a problem to continue those traditions, which the masters created through our young generation. It is another opportunity to turn everyone's attention to music, to the way it is made, to present how music is collected, from which place it is collected and how musical instruments are made and how they are used in our lives. It is another opportunity to turn everyone's attention to music, to the way it is made, to present how music is collected, from which places it is collected and how musical instruments are made and how they are used in our lives. The exhibition will last for three months and will be open to the public until June. Constantin said, adding that lectures and educational programs will be held within the framework of the exhibition. Pardu, 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 pardu